Hello F1 car fans. So maybe last year I bought this Tarmac Works IXO model of the uh, MCL McLaren MCL 35 and uh, it wasn't good you know the reason being is look at the suspension here it's all blanked off like a Hot Wheels it looks like a five dollar it looks like a three dollar model <laughs> it's, it's not good so that's why I haven't reviewed any of these Tarmac Works F1 cars ever since then so yeah but today we're gonna change we're gonna give them another chance it's actually not my intention to like destroy companies but i buy this stuff with my own money and if they're in the i think they're garbage i want everyone else to know because then those companies probably should either change or go out of business it's uh, you know when other companies do a better job you got to catch up or just get out of that market space well anyways here we go ixo tarmac but this time is the next year the mcl 36 so the emilia romagna grand prix of 2022 driven by lando norris i would have to assume this is a, the italian grand prix but i could be mistaken i don't actually have to follow f1 this is actually looking like it has the actual approval i mean they even have golf licensing i didn't even know golf was a brand anymore uh, the gas stations but obviously it must be um no no date as to when it actually came out we know that the car is a 2022 but it doesn't actually say when this uh, model was manufactured but i have to believe it's manufactured in 2024 if you happen to find this video 10 years from now okay so i do like the packaging assuming that the quality control is there and that it's been a little suspicious from Tarmac in the past on their road cars, but maybe they've gotten better. But, uh, you know, I don't feel guilty throwing this packaging away, or it's not so big that I can't collect it. Okay, well, one nice thing is if you love tobacco, or I'm assuming maybe this is a vaping company nowadays, you can put those decals on. Maybe I'll do that later. So a very nice uh, bubble. Definitely going to protect the thing from damage. It protects three quarters of the thing, even more. So that's good. And what is this? Whoa, this is totally unexpected. An extra set of tires. It's only printed on one side, uh, which is not accurate to the real cars, it seems. But you have like a neon green P0, maybe? What is this thing? Focus. Yeah, it's Pirelli. Are these rain tires, maybe? Centurato. They do have a tread. Uh, again, maybe some of you F1 fans can let everyone else know, including me. Are these like rain tires or something? Is that why they're colored green and have so much tread on them? Uh, that's just my assumption. Whoa, there's even more in here. What's going on? I'm starting to like this stuff. So, if you want to get a little miniature diorama, and let's see if quality control number five has done a good job today. So this is unexpected. This is a, clearly a decal or maybe a sticker. You can see all this weird air pocket stuff here. But uh, okay. Interesting. It's on both sides. And then uh, one of these boards, I guess, to call them into the pit lane. Kind of needs like a someone to hold the board, but uh, it's nice to have these. It really is uh, to have so many extra pieces. That's totally unexpected. So plus points there. Okay. So Baron, ignore the color saturation. You know the camera, this monitor. And then your monitor, they're not, none of them are calibrated, so I can only assume that this is the correct orange. Oh, well, I look at these things. So, yeah, let's see. Typical F1 stuff around 900, 980 horsepower, top speed of 223 miles per hour, 0 to 62 in 1.7 seconds. And you can see where I'm reading this from. 8-speed uh, transmission. It has a hybrid system, you know, kinetic and thermal 
energy recovery, uh, 1,753 pounds, six, to six piston brake calipers, and 1.6 liter V6 turbo. All right, well, I think you had enough time to compare it to those photos. All right, yeah, so you can see this is slicks. So I would assume these are the dry tires and they're yellow, yellow as far as their color coding. It's kind of funky, like, you remember that old video, that not even video game, old game called Simon? It was like a disc like this, you need to press the buttons based on memory and stuff. That's what that reminds me of. Uh, they all have this black dot. I assume that's where the air filler is, maybe. Yeah, okay, well, that all looks good. The curvature of the tire is nice. It's not flat. Uh, right, going to the front, we have this little winglet here, and I see that on the front photo. I have to add the decal there to make it better. Yeah, you gotta add the decals to make it look better. What is this a decal? I'm wondering this. Yes, it is. You see? That air pocket I just squeezed out. So, yeah, I'm squeezing out air pockets. That's something you shouldn't have to do. And if this is an old model, that would be cracking right now. So, that's not good. You gotta get some softener and stuff if you wanna work those out, but they might still crack. So, one would have to assume then this might be a decal instead of a tampo. I'm not sure. I don't, it doesn't look like a tampo, I'll say. I mean, it doesn't look like a decal. It doesn't have the wrinkliness that I associate with decals. Only the air pockets give it away. So, it looks nice. I just don't know what the material is. Although this, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like a chunk of paint is missing. Mm, it's too bad. Um, the suspension arms look good. There's air passing between. And there's actually sponsorship or some sort of text on them. And then we have these little protrusions here. I'm not sure what they're for. Please leave a comment. And then we have this little airspeed sensor it looks like and some sort of radio antenna perhaps and then there's even a graphic on these little scooping up looking barge boards slash wings <laughs> what's the name of these you f1 fans please leave a name because i have to make up my own stuff because i don't follow f1 uh the the axle is black so that's good it's not distracting like the sparky ones that have uh, chrome axles so that's a nice touch all right, the halo here, it's got some sponsorship or something on it. It's not actually symmetric either, it's different. Unfortunately, there's no driver from this brand. Just a seat with some molded in harnesses, no color though. Uh, is there a steering wheel? Looks like, yeah, you got like the tablet shaped steering wheel. It's all black though, it's kind of hard to see. Very small intakes nowadays, it looks like. You can see this orange is a decal because it's folding up and bunching around. It's punching up a little differently on the other side, so yeah, this orange graphic is a decal, but it's not it's not wrinkly. It's a very smooth decal, so that seems to be an advancement, at, at least in the 164. Uh, most hobby model kit decals are not this smooth, so that's very cool. I like it. I like it. Now that I know it's a decal, I can see the edge here of this here going from the Gulf across. So this is all decal, what I'm touching here. But it, it looks good. So very nice. Hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. Some glue or something. But And or air pocket of the decal. Yeah, so that's not so great. Got the little, maybe this is the TV camera stuff. And then it's asymmetric. There's some sort of protrusion here, but not on the other side. This is nice, though. It's a little bit of a recess. You don't seem to get that on the Sparky models. The mirrors are rigid plastic. Uh, there's a little silver, though. Possibly even a sticker. They look very shiny. Yeah, those could be stickers, foil stickers. So that's good. Then... Uh, we got that DeWalt sponsorship on this barge board. And then this looks like a plastic base decal there. 
the suspension all blacked out there seems to be like wings but there's air passing between it's just all black it's really hard to tell but I'm getting to pick through them and then the black axle is nice don't know what dark trace is but it seems to be a decal here and the central thing is probably made of plastic based on its thickness the wing is nicely molded this is some residue from the decal process you can probably wipe that off with a wet q-tip so more sponsorship there and some on the back and this is nice as well you got indication of those leds back there these are physical recessed holes that's not a decal you can hear me run over it the exhaust tip actually looks kind of like a tube it's recessed so that's good and it looks like it's metallic as well so very good much better rear end than on the sparky models hmm yeah all right at the bottom here wow three three screws there all plastic these little strakes look pretty nice and then they tell you what the car is that's very good it tells you what brand it is and this one even tells you what race it ran so this is fantastic information who made it what race what car i guess the last thing i'd like to know is like when this toy was made or when this model was made so if you buy it loose without the packaging it kind of helps people set the value on things right knowing how old it is I'm noticing uh whoop, some sort of kick up here some sort of wing here maybe interesting to look at these these bodies right well i gotta say this is a vast vast improvement over the old one <laughs> let's just pull up the old one here or you know i think i must have added these decals if they weren't already on there but look at this the suspension on that is just it was horrible you know i can only hope my review of this this die cast is what led to the better suspension on these front ones but most likely not it's interesting the wheelbase is quite quite a bit shorter nowadays and just one year never mind it's not nowadays but just one year later but then look at the tire width the rear tires are huge compared to this one interesting very interesting and it also seems like a wider car than the year before hmm, hmm. interesting the rear yeah it looks like this one has printed on leds and that's fine but the molded ones you know they'll never fade off fade scratch away or anything to their credit this old one does have indication of a round exhaust tip so that's good this one's all press fit together this one uh you know there's some press fitting going on not that you'd really want to take these apart just nothing to no reason to in my opinion so you can notice I put the decals on uh, one note these end plate decals there literally is a physical slot to go around that black uh, little winglet so you gotta be kinda careful putting that on because you could tear the decal quite easily and then I used a uh, Mr. Mark setter so it's kinda like a decal glue so hopefully you know those won't peel off anytime soon uh ideally you'd actually clear coat the whole thing is just that i don't really care because also the clear coat on the rubber tires is going to crack and look weird so that's why i'm not clear coating it so it's a vast improvement obviously over the earlier effort uh here's a sparky form wise the sparkies are quite nice but again they they use decals so that's kind of why i'm not a big fan of them see look at this red bull thing here giant giant air pocket underneath that it just looks horrible it's horrible so decals are horrible it's that simple so i would say both of these brands if you expect these things to last a long time either never ever touch them again or maybe you want to consider mini gt mini gt uses tampo printing like hot wheels right this is paint meaning it's paint it's never going to fall off the only way this these little pinstripes are going to go bad as if the whole base base paint layer goes bad which is a possibility being a die cast uh they also have this uh this one here the p34 this is a lotus obviously uh unfortunately mini gt and sparky don't tell you what the cars are this is a lotus 78 and this is a p34 so i have to put stickers on it's just ridiculous all right sparky also no labels right so i have to put a sticker on it it's just silly 
to expect people to remember all these things if they're collectibles. Yeah, so, okay, well, anyways, that's what's going on here. Uh, ideally, if Mini GT, you could start making more modern F1 cars. I would buy your F1 cars over these two brands any day. But maybe it's not possible to tamper print on such crazy surfaces. I don't know. But Mini GT has, does make some pretty crazy road cars, like the Bugatti uh, concept uh, car from uh, Gran Turismo. That thing's pretty nuts. But I'm not. And the carbon graphics on that look pretty crazy. Ooh, right. Well, I don't work for any of these companies, so everything I say is just uh, theory, speculation, no actual evidence behind anything I say on this channel, so keep, <laughs> keep that in mind. I'm just a guy that likes small models. It's, that's all there is to it, so that's why I ask upon the viewers that know more about these things to make comments so everyone else can learn. Thank you for checking this out, and uh, we'll see you in the future. Bye.